new hair? I needed a change. The only thing worse than going back to school is going back to school in winter. Well, every step we take takes us one step closer to graduation. Oh, final countdown, dudes. Exactly 126 days till graduation, give or take. Why is it so bussy around here? Welcome to the new world of the grassy Lakehurst cohabitation. Oh, watch it. How can the people from the school that killed JT be coming here? Their school burns down, we get their ashes. Great idea, school board. And what are the chances there'll be a single cute guy? What? Sorry. Well, maybe someone new will steal Darcy away from his evil highness. And the grasshopper said what? Harold? <laughs> <laughs> His evil highness has been defeated by the powers of good, i.e. me. We're in love and he's reformed. I have that effect. If anyone could, it's the Blessed Virgin Darcy. Darcy, we're in school. You know what happens if my mom finds out? Look around, Peter. Your mom has bigger things on her mind. And do you really think the principal would send her son to boarding school? You know, why not? What's the rush? You're happy we have to keep our relationship a secret? No, I, I'm just used to it. Plus, sneaking around's kind of hot. I'm starting to think that you don't want people to know about us. Until the Lakers fire damage is repaired, you'll be experiencing a little less elbow room. Now, I know, and I'm expecting all of you to make our new guests feel right at home. Now, Degrassi's had a long-standing history of being a welcoming and nurturing so, environment. Why and haven't we talked had, about what? About wholesome Christian youth, dating, drug planting, straight racing, blackmailing, Peter? Uh, little Manny, right here? I'm not that guy anymore. That was the old man. Exactly. Which is why there's no reason to keep our relationship secret. What do you want me to do? Show my mom out of the way and make an announcement? FYI, I saw you flirting with those girls from Lakehurst. And if you ever walk... Guys! Shh! Darcy, you're my girl. What more proof do you need? You're the former criminal mastermind. Think of something. Off class, guys. Off class. Ah, Toby Isaacs. Ready for one last semester as my digi guru? Did you, Wiener? DeMarco, right? Something to say? No, sir. Really? Because I heard something. Sound important, actually. Off to class, guys. much. I feel out of place in my own calf. So has Peter come up with a master plan for you two going public yet? No, but it would probably help if I could even find that charming boyfriend of mine. I think I found mine. Hey, are these seats taken? Uh, sit here. Thank you. I'm sad, by the way. Manny, and this is Darcy. Jane, hi. I was just telling Jane that we should round up some people and go snowboarding this weekend. And I was just telling Sav that nobody'd be interested. So. Uh, we might be right, Darcy. <laughs> Sounds like a blast of cold. Besides, I've got a church retreat. <laughs> Gotta get your Bible on. It's just her never-ending search for eternal happiness. Has she checked under her extensions? Oh, no, but there it is behind your gigantic rump.
Wait, that's you? But you seem like such a good girl. <laughs> you better clean that up. Love our new guest. Is this bit of filth taken? Trying to fill me up, Toad? This is our hall. These are our lockers. These are our crappy motivational posters. They have no right to take this from us. Lakehurst was forced to come here. It wasn't their choice. So you're okay with JT's killers being here? I feel a podcast coming on. I'm serious. Tobes, I'm never gonna be okay with the fact that JT's gone. But Lakehurst didn't kill him. One psycho did, and he's in jail. Johnny DeMarco's here. You know, he was there when JT got stabbed. And what happens to him? Nothing. Dr. Martin Luther King said, turning violence for violence multiplies violence, adding deeper darkness to a night already devoid of stars. Let it go, Toby. Come in. So Peter says there's something that you two want to tell me. Mom, um... You know how I like ketchup on my broccoli? Shouldn't go together, right? Uh, well, that's a lot like me and Darcy. We've been sort of... I, I think he's trying to say that we're together and we don't want to keep it a secret anymore. Have your parents given their blessing? Oh, sure. As long as we obey the rule of chastity, they're happy. <laughs> we just want to be honest or whatever. Well, Peter's behavior has turned around, and I think I know why. So what can I say? He's a lucky kid. <laughs> but if you give me any reason, I'll reconsider. Oh, we'll be angels, promise. You wanna meet up at the dock? The Degrassi place? What do you want? I'll see you at the break room. Her. So, Lakehurst burns to the ground. How appropriate. Believe me, I wish we were anywhere but this dump. Yeah, that makes two of us. Wait, you're the guy we rolled last semester. Oh, man, I'm over that, all right? How about a peace treaty? Unless you say you're sorry. Fine. I'm sorry I called you a digi-wiener and kicked your ass. You stood there while your friend stabbed my friend to death. Um, if we're gonna be one squad, I nominate myself as co-captain. <laughs> Please, job's taken. Warm-ups, people. I have an announcement. You're a vampire. Me and Peter, we're official. And his mom is totally cool with us being us. That's kind of amazing. So you're OK with it, too? As long as you're happy. Speaking of happy, I'm in a snowboarding mood. A snowboarding mood or a sav mood? Already with the boy crazy? Sav, shmav, it'll be fun, unless ditching church retreat gets you struck by lightning. Even if I were to risk divine electrocution, it would be to spend time here with my boyfriend. What's taking so long? Where's Darcy? Can I help you? Uh, my daughter's on spirit squad. Chauffeur service, you know. Sorry, I'm late. Uh, let's go. Oh, I'm Daphne Hatzalakos, Darcy's principal, and, you know, my son, Peter. Oh, we know your son. Great. Well, I was hoping we'd meet. Uh, Darcy's not in trouble, is she? Oh, no, no. But if my son and your daughter are gonna be an item, it's best that we have each other on speed dial. Oh, no, 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 no. There must be some misunderstanding. Darcy is not dating your son. Darcy told us he left her to walk home in the rain after being cited for driving without a license. Yes, and I see she survived. And what about those photos he took and sent to his perverted friends on the internet? That was her idea. Look, I, I know Peter is no angel, but I am doing my best. Ms. Hatzalakos, I'm sure your son is a handful. I can handle my son, Mr. Edwards. Well, maybe if you and Mr. Hatzalakos were still together. Mom! Very nice to meet you. Mercy, do something.
<clears throat> Our minivan can go without me. Nobody's going on the retreat without you. <clears throat> I think I'm coming down with a cold kid. I just stay home. Oh, but you always have so much fun on the retreat. Uh, I, I don't want to spare my germs, and I have homework, new cheers. Oh, and... I don't know, sweetie. Staying by yourself overnight? Uh, Mom, I'm 17. OK. You've got a good head on your shoulders. And we trust you. Thanks, Mom. OK, rest up. We'll be checking in. You have our numbers. And we'll be back later tomorrow afternoon. OK. There you are all just in time. Yeah, I had to wait for my parents to leave. I take it the Churchisons are cool with unsupervised winter fun? That'd be a no, but you taught me everything there is to know about call forwarding. Have you seen Peter? No. Oh, another voicemail. Uh, Peter, it's me. I'm on my way to Mount Huron. The next bus leaves in an hour. Please come. I promise I'll make it worth your while. If Lakers castoffs like Johnny DeMarco think that I'm going to personally welcome them to Degrassi, wake up. It ain't going to happen. And if anyone has a problem with that, remember, nobody messes with Toby Isaacs. Are you goofy? Never mind. Mm. Hey, um, killer party tonight. Guaranteed rager if you're sticking around to the last bus. Uh -huh. Funny. I was just wondering when the next bus leaves to go home. Oh, touching. Peter? Thank gosh. I'm so sorry I couldn't stand up to my parents. Please just tell me you're not calling the breakup. Come on, you're the one who's supposed to have faith. Oh, you made it! Yeah, I pulled the mom's house, dad's house shell game. <laughs> Said you'd make it worth my while. And did you hear about the party tonight? Yeah, bonus. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I'm not helping you anymore. Everybody's losing control. are a bunch of mouth-breathing Neanderthals? I couldn't agree more. I heard your podcast. How is name-calling supposed to help? It's not name-calling, it's scientific classification. I was gonna ask you to head up the integration committee, but your personal vendetta isn't helping. Yeah, well, maybe some people don't want to integrate. Car. Check it. Lakers Niners. Wanna go bust heads? Later, okay? Is this what you want? An ongoing war? You remember how that ended last time? <laughs> Ditching the church retreat, lying to your parents, sneaking out. You know you don't have to commit all seven deadly sins in one night. Hey, I'm not drinking, am I? Besides, none of this would be necessary if my parents hadn't banned me from seeing Peter. When will parents ever learn forbidding things is not that easy? I... <laughs> totally. <laughs> There's nothing our parents can do, but... <laughs> you were right. This whole sneak around behind the back seat, it is kind of hot. We're good. <laughs> 
Whoa, slow down. You know the above the waist rule, Peter. Just relax. <sighs> I'm not comfortable with this. What happened to you will make it worth your while? <laughs> the minute by your lift to get stupid, you know I took a vow of abstinence. Yeah? The problem is I didn't. <laughs> get out. Come on, Darcy. Out. All right, I'm sorry. My parents were so right about you. Coming here alone? That's brave. More stupid. Maybe both. Look. Johnny, I don't want to start a war. And I think as long as we're under the same roof, we should try to get along. That's not what podcast Toby said. Yeah, we've all heard it. You know, before someone messes with you, I suggest you bust out of here. Look, you don't understand. I want to take you up on your peace treaty. Treaty's off the table, Wiener. I'll see you at school. Church retreat, smirch retreat. Aren't you glad we came up here? Not remotely. Easy, Tiger. The bus leaves in half an hour. You were right, you know, about forbidding things. Just now, in the bedroom, Peter was trying to make me do things. Isn't the rule of abstinence supposed to make life easier? <sighs> it's not a rule. I'm not ready. I want to wait until I'm married. But I'm not like you, Manny. But no values, no self-respect. Well, if you're going to get up on your high horse, then I'm gone. You and Satan Jr. are made for each other. Hey, man. Getting your shine on? Whatever, man. Sue me. What are you? I only have one drink, Jack ass. Mm, saucy. You're a bad liar, though. You're even worse when you're drunk. <laughs> let's not. Let's not fight anymore, okay? Deal. You swear? We can go do it if you want. Do what? <laughs> Whatever. Anything you want. Can I tell you a secret? <laughs> I'm a virgin too. But I don't care, you know? I'll wait until whenever. Because love you. Hey, JT. I know you're busy, but um, if I had anyone else to talk to, I would. <sighs> I miss you, JT. And I know that violence just multiplies violence into 
deep, dark something, but... It sucks that Lakers people are in our halls and you're not. It, it's, it's not fair. But maybe with so many new people at Degrassi, maybe there's someone like you. And as they say, strangers are just friends you haven't met yet. Last night? I think I became fluent in keg draft. But did we? Oh my gosh, we did. Did what? You sure? Yes, I'm sure. And you should be too. You were kind of there. My body was, I guess, but not my mind. Darcy, I was totally wasted. <laughs> You're not the only one. I've got the thrashing headache to prove it. We had sex? <sighs> when does the next bus leave? If I don't get home before my parents, I'm dead. <sighs> Darcy, uh, I know this isn't how you pictured it. But let me get dressed. Just get out. No, I mean, uh, I wish it had been more memorable. I know how much it meant to you losing your virginity. <sighs> no, you don't, Peter. Not even a little. Now, please. Let me get dressed. Jay, and I'm trying. It's just hard to memorize mediocrity. Please. You know what? Practice is over. Everyone hit the showers. Way to win practice on a high note. What happened? What? Oh, uh, what do you mean? You know, at Mount Huron, after you got all judgy on me and I left? Manny, I'm really sorry about that. What was it again? No values, no self-respect. Uh-oh. Rens caught you sneaking back in, didn't they? No, they didn't. It's not that. It's Peter. I had a feeling when you guys weren't on the bus home. Did something happen? Everything. I barely remember it. 
Are you sure you said yes? You're sure Peter didn't take advantage? Vinny, don't go there. I got drunk and I made a mistake. End of story. You're not the first one, honey. What if people find out? What if they talk and say I'm like this big nympho? I swear I'd die. You'll be fine. So as long as you make sure Peter hasn't told anyone. But I know. And every girl is entitled to a secret. Two. Or three. <laughs> I'll be fine. Good morning. Sleep okay? Yeah, you weren't lying about that couch. You don't have to lie, Alex. I know you and Paige are playing house in Dylan's room. It's not like he's gonna care. He's in Switzerland. Keys to the store, they're on the fridge. Oh, thanks, hun. Without you, I'd be sad, lonely, and with many cats. You know we have a no pets rule. Well, once I close down Squatch Designs for good, I'll leave the rats behind. Bye, guys. Bye. Hey, Al, don't forget, study group at four. I made notes. Thanks. You're too perfect. Tell that to Dylan. What's with Dylan? It's our anniversary, and you think I would have heard from him by now, but nada. Marco, the boys checked out. I gotta get to class. Sorry. I'm sure he'll call. Uh. <laughs> hey, come hey. on. You can tell us. Totally. We're practically friends. All right. But you guys can't tell anyone. All right. I think Darcy and I had sex. No what? way. Shh. What do you mean, think you had sex? Well. You know when you think you had sex, but you're not totally sure if you did or not? Uh, no. Come on, dude, you're asking us. So what is it? Did you do it or not? I knew it, you did. Score, shh. It's a secret. You guys can't keep a secret, right? Totally, we're not like immature or whatever. Yeah. So you see her bare naked? Seats, everyone. Today we begin studying a new novel, the mid 19th century classic, the Scarlet Letter, written by Nathaniel Hawthorne. The book is a story of a woman who must permanently bear the mark of her sins in the face of public scrutiny. Hello, Nash. Marco. Hey, how are you? Eric. Hey, brings you to the core. Uh, just getting a textbook from Al. How goes the journalism? Makes no sense. What, your Justin Timberlake review? Ha uh ha. -huh. It's Marco. He keeps holding on to a guy who treats him like crap. Well, you sure got a fan in Eric. Really? We should set them up. We should mind our own business. And by we, I mean you. Look, you know Marco. Unless someone intervenes, he's gonna let Dylan kick him around forever. No doubt. Marco's loaded to a fault. Which is why he's never gonna let you set him up with Eric. You're right. Just means we're gonna have to be sneaky. Still with the we, huh? Hey, still mad at me? I wasn't mad at you. I was freaked out. Yeah, I get it. I do. I was freaked too. I'm just surprised, I guess. Yeah, I know. Wasn't how you thought it would happen. So we agree that it was a mistake. I mean, it can't happen again. Darcy, I don't want to do anything to make you unhappy, ever. So whatever you say goes. And you didn't tell anyone about, about what we did, did you? No, of course not. Good, because if anyone found out. Don't worry, no one will. I'm just glad we're cool, because if you're mad at me, man, I can take it. <laughs> so Dylan just sent the lamest text. It says, hap n -I m love l-u-v-d. Could that be any more abbreviated? Why does it smell like pizza? Because we have guests. Hey, Marco. Uh, Eric and I were, uh, just doing some work. 
Hey, Marco. Jesse, I wanted to show you that thing. Remember? Oh, right, the thing. I love things. Well, that wasn't awkward. I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know they were going to make it such an obvious setup. But you did know it was a setup. Well, I, I guess I kind of thought there was something between us. Yeah, there is something between us. His name's Dylan. He's my boyfriend. OK. I wonder if uh, Ellie can show me that, that thing. Enjoy the pizza. Spirit Squad. Hey, mind if we interrupt this love fest? We've got all the time in the world for friends. We can't all be friends, right? No recent reasons why not. People change, right? They sure do. Get a room, you two. Oh, wait a sec. You already did that, you sly dogs. You told her? No, I didn't. Well, those two fuzzhead twins won't shut up about it. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Darcy, I'm sorry. Oh, great, you're sorry. That's really gonna help me get my reputation back. I only told Danny and Derek because I was so freaking confused. About what? About the fact that you say we had sex, but I don't think we did. You really don't. I know what happened that night. I know that we had sex. Listen, last time I saw you, you were passed out. There were a lot of people around, people we don't know. It was out of control. Stop it, Peter. I really hope it's not true, but what if something happened? It's not possible. I'm not the sort of person that happens to. You're sure you had sex, but I'm sure it wasn't with me. Don't talk to me. You heard what I said. Don't talk to me, ever. Attention, students. Darcy, you little thief. Yeah, we heard you stole Pete's virginity. Man, my man, you little minx. Out of the way, dorks. Don't let them bug you. We've both been here before. Mm -hmm. It's like being a sheep, and the halls are filled with wolves with acne. Guess all those years in Friendship Club didn't mean much. Hey, Kim. I see you're still wearing your abstinence ring. Don't you think you should take it off? This isn't the time, Kim. No, it's fine. Satisfied? Virginity is God's most precious gift. And you just gave it away. Frozen toast retire. Hey, you're still in the doghouse, Nash. I was only trying to help you. And by the way, it was real nice of you to crush poor Eric's feelings. I know. I got freaked. Maybe I'm attracted to Eric. <laughs> Maybe? OK, he's hot. And in another time and place, it might have worked. But Dylan is, is in Europe, which is European for far, far away. He's living his life, Marco. But what are you doing? Fine. I'll take Eric out for one cup of coffee. Just promise to get off my back. No, they have to be hot. <laughs> Darcy, can I talk to you? I think you've done enough talking. You've made my life here a hell. Shoot. Go on. Get. I'm going to murder Danny and Derek. Hey, um, you guys hear about that Mount Huron thing? There's a police warning about some roofie rapist on the loose. Someone's going around and spiking random girls. We can go do it if you want. Just now in the bedroom, Peter was trying to make me do things. Holy sissy. Well, they had this one drink and jack ass. Can you believe that? Someone's going around and spiking random girls' drinks at parties. It's crazy scary. Totally. So lucky it wasn't one of us. Yeah. What? You said you were out of your mind drunk. 
I had one drink. It just hit me. One drink doesn't hit you like that. Roofies do, and they also make you forget. I remember me and Peter having sex. I remember the whole thing. It was beautiful. It's not what you said yesterday. And my memory came back. So we'll send this off to the lab, along with your urine. We'll test for the usual STIs. Just bend your arm up. And we'll have the results in a few hours. And there's absolutely no way you can tell if I'm pregnant. Not this soon, I'm sorry. You, uh, you said you were very intoxicated when you had sex. Are you sure it was consensual? Oh, absolutely. My boyfriend Ramon's condom broke. <laughs> Oops. Miss, uh, Edwards, I know an excellent person you can talk to if... Oh, no need, doctor. I've got my boyfriend, my family, my friends, all sorts of support. Okay. <laughs> That's why I love the summer camp. I think all kids should have access to the outdoors. Yeah, and all the mosquito bites they can scratch. <laughs> Don't knock it, city boy. Maybe someday I'll take you to the woods. Look, Eric, um, you're great, and I'm trying, but I have a boyfriend. <laughs> Look, you have a crutch. What are you afraid of, Marco? Nothing. It's long distance, and it's difficult, but I'm committed. Look, you're hiding under a safety blanket. There's a whole world out there, and Dylan's not the only gay man in it. Well, thanks for the advice. You sure seem to know a lot about my love life. <laughs> I know you deserve someone who's good to you. Well, I happen to have that guy. Hey, got your eye on. What's going on? I used to play here when I was little. And I used to dream about my prince who'd sweep me off my feet in our perfect wedding. I just found out I have chlamydia. Got any antibiotics? <laughs> Is Peter getting tested? I remember feeling someone on me. And he smelled bad, not like Peter. I just wanted it to be him so bad. <laughs> oh my God, Darcy. I don't know what to do, Manny. I'm terrified. Everywhere I look, I think, it, is that a him? Is that the guy who... Darcy, we gotta talk to someone. You gotta tell. You said, Manny, you said every girl is entitled to a secret. I didn't mean getting raped. <laughs> Babe, you gotta talk to your parents, okay? And Tars, you're still gonna have your prince and your perfect wedding. You're gonna have both. Daddy and I are off to choir practice. Hey, everything okay, honey? Oh, don't tell me that gold of yours is coming back. I'm still feeling a little under the weather. I have fun at choir. Okay, bring it down. Holly J, can you take over for a sec? Okay, back in formation. Darcy? Darcy! Oh, 
my god. Hold this, press. Calling 911. <laughs> Dr. Sherikovsky, 4872. Dr. Sherikovsky, 4872. Do they know? I don't think Darcy told them yet. Someone's got you. Not us, not now. Why not? I got this pamphlet. Oh, great. Pamphlet. It says rape victims need to heal at their own pace. It's important. The cut wasn't deep. She'll be OK. But can you tell me why my perfect daughter would have done this? Mrs. Edwards, I really don't know. Keeping Sumatra in business, hon? I haven't slept much. Been waiting for Dylan to call for two days. Oh, well, luckily, I've got just the thing to cheer you up. Squatch design tees in every single color. Sorry about the store going under. No big. We did everything we could. Say la vie, que sera, and all that. It's nice crying. Hmm. I guess when it's time, it's time. Dylan, hey, listen, um, we need to talk. Yeah, it's the talk. I just don't know what to say. I don't even know why I'm here. You're here because you hurt yourself on school property. Darcy, I know there's a reason for what you did. And if you ever do want to talk, I could be a pretty good listener. But in the meantime, we're going to create a safety plan and make sure you have the best support system around. And if there's anything else you need, you know where to reach me. Bye. Hey, how'd it go? I couldn't tell her. Not yet. You got you something. Abstinence ring. What happened? It didn't count, Darcy. 